Hey guys, welcome back to this new video and in this video I'm going to show you how I parent my bones uh, and also import my models of course but that's nothing new so let's start we're going to delete all of this because I'm going to append it often the model and we don't need cameras and default cubes so uh, I recorded this video uh, earlier and I didn't record my sound with it so I'm stupid and I didn't do that so I'm going to do it again because you know what I'm in a good mood and I like to do things when I'm in a good mood okay uh, basically this model has a helmet right um, what I like to do is first combine these two merge these two and after that I add the helmet to merge it with it because it's so much easier now to to parent these to each other to merge these into each other rather than rather than doing it with three meshes believe me trust me on this one please uh, okay here we are we imported the mask we're going to merge these two and these two perfect and now we are going to delete the duplicate bones so i press this you know the the, the zero zero one bone and the zero zero two bone and we click shift g suffix delete click this one shift g suffix delete and gone they are and now we've got a load of bones we do not want to parent manually so uh, oh wait one thing i'm going to do first is select one left bone so yeah left bone and i am going to delete every single left bone in the body and that is for ik purposes inverse kinematics that's for animation and you'll see why, why that comes uh, comes in handy later um okay we are going to grab these sneaky motherfuckers uh, because they are right here and the uh, these are very shitty to parent uh, manually just single every single bone to parent them it's it's just a lot of bull crap uh, you can also do that by selecting this bone you have to select all of these bones of course first and then selecting the bone you want to parent them to if they're really close to each other, it doesn't really matter what bone you parent them to. Uh, it all will look good anyway. And you can select the, the, la the last bone, press Ctrl P, keep offset, and they will parent all to the same bone. Um, okay, the attached bone, don't use it. Always use the root in the root bone instead. It's meant for like hoverboards and uh, effects. And uh, I mean, I don't see. Why you just reuse the root bone for that? I mean, it's most certainly a UA4, an Unreal Engine thing, I think. But I, I mean, I'm not sure. Okay, so the clavicle, we are going to parent to the spine five, upper arm to the clavicle, and all of these we can parent to the spine five again. See how easy that is. We just cleared out all of these bones. Almost all of them though. We need to grab that one. And this one uh, will be with the pelvis again. This one will be with the thigh. There we are. Okay. Um, so we've got the root left and I've checked before this mo this model doesn't have IK bones included so we are going to make them ourselves and that's how we go how we how, how are we going to do that well I made a whole video about it you can check it out but I'm gonna do it again because I do that with like every single model I make I'm addicted to it okay duplicate this bone call it IK and gone you can name it anyway by the way it doesn't really matter it's just handy dandy because if you want to copy animations from one model to another 
this will make everything much easier um, we are going to parent that to the root make another bone duplicate that one call it ik hand r and parent that to the ik hand gun now uh, I think that's it. Yeah, we are going to create poles and as you can see I'm not using reoriented bones Because fuck everyone that's using reoriented bones except for the brawler he, He's 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 all right Alrighty uh, We are going to parent this to the root as well and call this one pole uh, Pole arm, Jesus Christ, R. And I think that's about the a good position. Uh, extrude this one as well. Oh, yeah, good length. Turn off connected because otherwise the bone would stick with the knee bone, and we do not want that. We are going to connect that to the root. Call this pull leg R. I know I could have called it knee or calf, uh, but I just like to call it leg. Okay, uh, we've got that set up. We need another foot bone. IK foot R. And that's going to be parented to the root. Now we might just make another bone for the IK foot root and that's handy if you want to make him go if you want to make him slide like maybe on a hoverboard yeah um if you want to make him okay I'm out of words I'm out of words oh, I'm out of words 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 man some things are really hard to say to pronounce I'm Dutch Okay, we've done that. I think we're complete. Now we can... Oh, whoa, that was weird. Now we can uh, IK rig this thing. So we uh, select the uh, IK hand R, the IK hand, I, uh, shift I to make that thingy pop up. Uh, make it a chain length of three. I have to drink some water actually I'm going to do that right after this video make it a pole arm R uh, that's not right 180 degrees um, now we are going to grab this foot IKR and foot and chain length of three rotation pull, thing, pull target the leg this one doesn't look right at all 180 degrees also fine maybe turn it around a little bit that looks right now we are going to do something I haven't shown before uh, thanks to cube I, uh, I'm not um, 99 90 99 percent sure he is not watching this video uh, but if you, if you are cube, thank you for this tip. Uh, even though you didn't personally give me it, uh, it it's it's really helpful. It uh, basically means that you can limit uh, the movement of this knee, so it doesn't move very weird in uh, very weird angles anymore. So if I just turn that off, sometimes it tends to go weird you see uh, so alt G alt R to reset the bones oh no not that one let's grab this one there we go um, all right everything looks to be okay no weird bones right there alrighty uh, I think we can shift G suffix and symmetrize or what is it Symmet symmetrize right I think that's what it is 
And now we can change out these again. Set this to zero. Set that to zero. Maybe screw around with it a little bit. And change this one up from that to that, I think, right? Yeah. Uh, and this looks fine, I think. Let's see. Did I miss anything? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. Wow. Um, that's basically it. Uh, I can recommend watching a video on how to install Spring Bones, or just it's a, it's this add-on, and that basically may, means you can uh, make jiggly bones. So uh, if you want to add jiggly phys physics to titties or just muscles or to a butt, for example, you can do that uh, with this add-on. It's very handy dandy. As you can see, uh, if I turn it on on this one, spring rotation, start the interactive mode. Uh, you can see it jiggles. Oh, this is so much fun. And you can do that. You can do that with any bone you would want to do it with. Uh, I might create some muscle bones just for that purpose. Uh, and that's basically it. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you next time.